I think we're on the last step now. The very, very last step. Just the actual screen holder. The dashboard. Oh, the print side's up for once. I'll pay a little bit more attention because it's hard to see the fold lines on the front. I'm a little bit cheating there, looking at the back. <clears throat> oh, here we go, the sponge stickers. There we go. I also forgot that one sheet has two stickers on it. And I think it's, I think the stickers are just for cushioning for the for the switch. I keep wanting to call it gamepad because of the Wii U. That's pretty good. And I guess we're done with the stickers then. unique fold there. Oh. Oh yeah, I didn't miss a step. But um these stickers go right onto the folds there. Oh yeah, it, go it just goes right on top of right on top. I guess this I guess this um screen holder needs to be um a little more a little more I guess protective or enclosing <clears throat> because it's on a pretty big slant there and also you're going to be tilting this whole thing so it needs to not be able to fall off the piano screen holder is a little bit a little bit more free because it's, it's not going to be moving oh almost done Now for this little piece. It looks like a stopper, but I think this is just going to be a, um, like a freestanding tab to insert in, into this slot. Oh, it doubles as two tabs. Oh, you need to open and close this one. Thank you. 
I like this. It's done. Oh. Now attaching the Joy-Con. Okay, the console itself. I guess I'll keep my speaker attached. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. But yeah, it's it's completely locked in there, unlike the piano. So I see why I need to, need to take it apart each time, a little bit. I did that, yeah. Oh, we need to unlock this one too. Oops. Ah. I think that's good. I guess we will be using a button for this one. It's done! Wow, okay. Um, now this, this is one of the more complex ones. I think I'll change my camera angle um, so I can use it properly. Okay, so now I'm ready to try it out. Yep, I'm doing that. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is a racing game. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, you have to rev it. The oh. Oh, that's a horn then, okay. And this is the brake right here, I don't want to do it because I'm always the first, but here we go. Yeah, it's a brake. I don't know, it didn't give me instructions, I guess I have to figure that out in the discover mode. But this feels, this feels a lot like real motorcycles, just like in Mario Odyssey. If you see my Odyssey, um, they have a couple motorcycles scattered around the world. Second. Hope it's not too much of a glare. Yeah, so I guess it's a combination of both tilting and turning the wheel. Okay. 
Here we go, I'm first. Oh, you can rev whatever you want. I don't know, should I try one of these buttons and see if they do anything? The buttons don't seem to be doing anything, but... First! First place, there we go. <clears throat> I wonder, is, is this a Grand Prix? Um, and... Oh, final race. Oh, it's a three race Grand Prix, okay. Oh, this is like my own car, but a lot more realistic. Speaking of my own car, I really hope I get to try this out in 8 Deluxe. My own 8 Deluxe. I really like this. I, I wonder what they would what else they would have in discover mode. Let me try the plus button. Oh that's pause, okay. The A button stick on here too. Um um but I'm not sure I'm not sure what that would do. I just have to get out the steering. First again! Also, there there was a Toy Con motorbike. I'll definitely do more videos of this. Thanks for watching.